Um, good morning, everyone. Um, this is a for, for Thai, Thai time. It's <laughs> one thirty in the morning, okay? <laughs> so the, uh, I have the uh, opportunity to uh, talking to you about the, what we have been achieved for uh, the last 10 years. And look at this girl, we, she have a special type of pigtail, double helix. <coughs> So the uh, F everyone, uh, we have the in industrial evolution, not revolution, okay? And then uh, we have the machine, replace manpower and the animal power. So we have a lot of grain and meat. So the, uh, our skyrocket of human population is now rising. We have one billion now every 12 years. So the, uh, in our country, we believe and like any other country, believe that the genomic revolution, oh sorry, evolution, <laughs> should be part of the uh, maintain the mankind uh, for uh, feed and treat. Okay, particularly the micro plant animals and human. This is a this is the uh, the major even in Thai genome project start from 1997. We have the uh, Thai genomic roadmap, and 1998, we have the first call of bioinformatic teaching in university. In 1999, we have the medical molecular biology uh, established mostly in the university hospital. <coughs> and by this one, we prove to the uh, public that, particularly for the HIV, we do a lot of the medication. Uh, CD4 viral load and HV genotypic drug resistant assay. And now, in the past, we have to pay about 5 billion US, uh, 5 billion Thai baht per year for taking care of HIV. We have about 1 million people who are infected with the HIV, but now we have only 5,000 new cases. Now we're getting to zero, and we work very well. That's why the, this one is like a, uh, we, convince public and also the government that somehow we need to invest to pay less in the future. And for the uh, bacterial genome, 1999 we have Bukuria Subomalii sequence. And for 2002 we have the right genome project. And now we have many crops that tolerate the uh, uh, global warming uh, effect in Thailand. 2002 we uh, have what we call Thai SNP. We co collaborate with the French government to sequence some certain genes and have uh, our variant compared to other. In 2005, after the APEC meeting, 2003, we have what we call the pharmacogenomic uh, project. And then we have the uh, uh, second phase of uh, the, the Thai SNP, sorry. We call the Thai Pan Asian SNP by comparing the SNP, Thai SNP with the uh, Southeast Asian country, 2011. We have the complete genome sequence of the, the, the Thai male. 2013, we think that the, uh, we estimate what we call medical genomic center. It's a small one. It's like a prototype for the government to implant, to implement throughout the country. In 2014 this year, I think that we are to, uh, going toward what we call democratic democratization of the sequencing because everyone nearly have the opportunity to have their own part of the genome, whole genome sequence. And now uh, the price should be dropped down if we can work out with the enzyme instead of doing an exome for 100 egg coverage. If you can do a five coverage, 20 more can sequence. So let, let's talk about the uh, pharmacogenomics. Uh, because the, uh, in the past, we, the government would like Thailand to leapfrog strategy. I mean, it could be upfront in the uh, Thailand life science innovation. So the, after the APEC meeting, we have the conclusion that the, uh, T, uh, Thailand should have the organization called T-Cell, Thailand Center X for Life Science. Uh, T-Cell support the genomic medicine, and the first one that they support for the last six years is the pharmacogenomics. Everything that come out from that pharmacogenomics 
the universal health care coverage scheme in Thailand will be make use of that. We have a very nice the uh, uh, UC system is quite different from other country, meaning that they're nearly uh, uh, most of our population is covered by the uh, UC. And you can go to the hospital and most of the medical expedition could be taken care of. And for the pharmacogenomics, it's now being accepted by the uh, public and the government because uh, we are developing countries, surprisingly because the choices and selection of medication is low. So we, not, we do not have much uh, medication to choose. That's why the, uh, even they have the uh, serious side effect, somehow we need to have the net test first, and then we can select that, okay, the 80% still can use that medication, 20% should be replaced by maybe more expensive drug. We have the uh, organization we call uh, HITAP, and this is an independent body that we will study the quality of uh, Everything that uh, we prove by this organization, the UC will follow. And now, within a 20 year time, uh, now we can say that in Thailand, the genetic testing in human uh, is the among technology of interest by Thai public and the government. Uh, we have to handle, uh, probably I have to go to the TV station many, many times to make sure that uh, we have the right uh, uh, attitude toward the uh, genetic testing. Because we, we mishandled that in the past on the GMO, and the GMO now become really bad work in time. If you mention about GMO, then you never get the funding. And we have the collaborator. Uh, I work in the university hospital with the uh, closely monitor and join hand with the uh, Thai Ministry of Public Health. Uh, that does recommend is uh, work sitting over there. And also we have the uh, also collaboration with the Lick and CGM. They are very nice starting from uh, Professor Nakamura, uh, Yasuke Nakamura until uh, Professor Kubo. They also be nice to us. We do a lot of the HIV typing, GWAS and the sequence nearly mm, 3,000 cases of the uh, first type of uh, adverse uh, reaction. And we just realized recently that our country, particularly in Southeast Asia, we are more or less like a hotspot. You can see that uh, from the HIVA, mostly that associated with adverse uh, reaction, Thailand and Indonesia and Southeast Asia, is more or less like a hotspot, the red one, okay? more than 20% will be have the serious side effect if you're taking that kind of medication. That's why I, I, I tell you that somehow we have to manage uh, all of those medication. This is the, uh, also the uh, this for allopurinol or well red. For the uh, neuropin, also uh, orange. And for lipodysphore PD-40, and we also have uh, a lot of people suffer and the bacteria. We are talking about the uh, series like uh, uh, Stephen Jones syndrome and 10. And this is the, uh, the list of the uh, government from the Thai FDA. You can see that among uh, 10 uh, lists, the first list, because of the, our uh, project and with the uh, kind of support from the Lichen, we now sort of have a marker of nearly all of this uh, medication. And you can consider that the, uh, these are all the very old medication, but we have to use. We, have, we still have use of it. Uh, with the, uh, have the day tested first, and then you follow that if you are quite free from the serious side effect. Uh, we, we are doing a lot of things like a GWAS for the very huge HIV critical trial, about the uh, 2,000 people in, if you infected, all the marker and everything, and then uh, we join hand with the uh, Riken Genesis, is uh, the company sp spun off from the Riken uh, to come up with, they, they invent the uh, molecular point of care device and then with the marker that we found, we somehow now have the like a chip that the can use uh, only one drop of the blood and you can have the uh, data, I mean the report printed out for the uh, clinician. 
we then come up with the recommendation and guideline and everything. And also, the best of all is the UC scheme well adopted our uh, finding. Uh, we, you can see that the, uh, the we, we have the many uh, award for the innovation and the public easily uh, have accepted diagnostic testing. And the pricing is uh, lowing and lower. We can do maybe 10 plex from information with about 30 US dollar, okay? And this is the, uh, uh, all the uh, recommendation that happened. And this is uh, what the, uh, the uh, uh, UC system adopted, sorry, in Thailand. Now everyone can do the Kabamas uh, 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 Bean, have been tested first. And fortunately that uh, this morning I just realized that HIV 1500 instead of only for the Kabamas Bean is also for another drug. <coughs> Antiretroviral drug as well. Uh, that is uh, it like a uh, killing two birds with one stone. Fortunately, I will, uh, we have the data published first, and then we tell you what kind of antiretroviral drug. And we have the uh, organization, and for the pharmacogenomic, we have even they have the pharmacogenomic card now for everyone. And then when they go to the uh, uh, clinician, we have the pharmacogenomic card. If uh, the doctor is uh, quite uh, uh, interested in anything they call us back. And this is what we have in, uh, in, the, in the, we have the uh, sea farm, Southeast Asian. <laughs> and you can see who is there. And then he is in between the taller one, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. McLeod, and he have an idea that, hey, uh, uh, you should modify your natural drug list according to the uh, genomics. and we adopt that kind of idea and working out very uh, fast for that. And we have the, uh, uh, like a, a meeting, 2003 and two, uh, 2014. And we do the sequence and we realize that the attire is quite different from even our close uh, friend, like our uh, cousin, uh, Chinese, Chinese and Korea. Even though they're really willing to give us the uh, information, we cannot. So we have to have the, our own sequence. And the pricing is going down. Uh, we have to go fast. It is a, like a role model for the Thailand. For the uh, Rama Tibli Hospital, we perform the uh, genotyping. Um, this is our, our facility. We seem to have uh, everything a little bit of each. Time is out. And then this is what we are currently doing. You can read it by yourself. And, uh, we ha we and you can read it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, we do everything, and the people now it, it quite fascinating that all of the clinicians now in the past the last six years, when they said can can you do the research with us for the common gen genomic, they said no, but now everyone volunteer, it is quite different from now, and then they do it for inspiration instead of the motivation, and then the last one here's a summary, one. Our capacity of genomic medicine is small for uh, our countryside Thailand. We need the uh, training for and uh, capacity of building, majority mostly for the genetic counseling and bioinformatics. Our country is smaller in size with a unique genetic diversity, I already told you, and universal care care coverage will ready in function. Any technology that proved to be cost effective can be considered into you, you, you see as well very easily. Firm genomic study is unique that we have direct access to Thai FDA is very good, and also the uh, uh, Thai MOPH. Neonatal screening program, I didn't tell you much, but it's well as developed and open for the new testing. Thank you. Mark Williams, Geisinger. I was really impressed by the uh, list of the Stevens-Johnson syndrome and TENS. Uh, uh, I think that you have a lot more information than the rest of us have uh, relating to potential uh, predisposing uh, genomic markers. Are uh, all of those uh, 
predisposing um, factors in the HLA region, or are there uh, other genes that have been identified that are playing a role in, in this particular type of cutaneous reaction? And have are you planning or have you published uh, the genomic uh, information relating to that table? Yes. Yeah, we have uh, <coughs> many publications on that about 20, and we are willing to, to share the data with everyone in this room. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you about the pharmacogenetics card that you showed us. Uh, uh, just um, it, it was it went by fast, so I may have misunderstood. Does everybody have, or is the anti is it anticipated that every every tie will have one of these cards with a full pharmacogenetic profile on it? And if so, who's who's actually paying for that uh, that program? Okay. Uh, at first, I'd like to impress you all that we have the uh, the pharmacogenetic card, but actually, it's just one hospital. We like a uh, 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 like a, a pilot project mm -hmm. somehow and all written because in the Thai ID we have only but group it's not enough and the uh, who pay for that the now the government pay for that the people who enroll in the uh, in the Rama Tibri hospital they will have their uh, pharmacogenomic card so this is a pilot project that will demonstrate the value of that exactly. particular program and exactly. if it shows that there is value, it'll be expanded across. Right, right, right. It, it quite effective. I didn't tell you that the uh, Rama Tibidi Hospital have the, their own TV channel. Every time that we put the everything on the TV, uh, 65 million will see, and then they will come right away. Once the Rama Tibidi have that, any hospital need to have that too. <laughs> sort of like a competition. <laughs> I don't know. What. So it it rather try to convince government because maybe somehow show it in the public, and the public will go back to the government much easier. What's on the pharmacogenetic card? Uh, the card is the, like uh, uh, what you, when we do the uh, uh, HRA typing, they all the, have the HRA, whatever, whatever you have, and then what you have a greater potential to have the adverse reaction among the, the Thai they are among the ten, top ten, mostly. So, so just the treatment journal. Just the treatment journal right now. 